Babies are weighing less at birth these days, and a local doctor says it may not be such a bad thing. According to a new study, from 1990 to 2005, birth weight in the U.S. decreased by 1.83 ounces. The drop still leaves most babies in a safe range. A good weight for a term infant is between 5.5 and, and 9 pounds. Karina Corral gives us a local doctor's perspective on this trend in tonight's Healthy Living. It's the sweet sound new mothers long to hear. Unfortunately, sometimes it's a distant cry for help here at Sierra Vista Regional Medical Center's neonatal intensive care unit. If they're on the cusp of being premature, they end up needing to stay in a hospital like this for, for longer than a baby who is somewhat larger than they, they are. Dr. Steve Van Scoy works with small babies here on a daily basis. And while there are many implications that come with low birth weight, such as low blood sugar, low body temperatures, less body fat, and troubles feeding, we have to be careful how we interpret this new study that suggests birth weight is decreasing. I think that the first thought is that uh, it may be something bad that's occurring, but probably what's happening is a couple different things on the good side. One, he says, more mothers who have already had one C-section are electing to have another. Those babies are delivered a little bit earlier and therefore are a bit smaller. And two, more pregnant moms with diabetes are getting the right care through programs such as Sierra's Sweet Success. Through nutritional counseling, these moms are less likely to deliver very large babies that go along with gestational diabetes. They're born at a better size and much more healthy. The reasons for birth weight decline are unknown, but Dr. Van Scoy says it does not necessarily mean more smaller babies are being born, but maybe that fewer larger babies are. Karina Corral, KSBY News. And don't forget, for the latest health news anytime, just go to the Healthy Living page on KSBY.com.